man. Jeez, I'm, I'm yeah, you look at things kinda... proper, huh? Maybe you see your, your, your um setup background looks proper. You yeah, be happy I came to the studio. I'm trying to connect <laughs> to the studio computer, but the internet's down apparently. Wow, I don't know so I if it's not one thing, it's another thing, man. It's a fact. Uh, the good thing, the good thing, thing the good thing about uh, them shorts are they're they're working still. Nice. We're 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 uh we got what do we think uh, nineteen hundred on the first one and then another four or five and people are still commenting because again these are I mean I mean for those who are tuning in now quick is myself the beast aka Tokes and Slang Hugh here just adjusting himself we're just here talking the talk you know and we are, are are just you know chilling right now just chilling sometimes right. it's just good to just chill and talk but yeah we were talking about the, uh, the recent posts we've made and we've reached out and you know got a lot of views which is great so we appreciate that what what mm -hmm. i love even more is the comments you know i saw some of my coworkers and some of my classmates on my feed when i posted it telling me they one person said they paid five thousand dollars for a donna ticket package so that include flight. Was that like a fair tour? That was, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. That was, uh, I think, 14 years ago, I think she said. Okay. So I'm like, wow. And then, you know, other people said they'll they never to? do it to Toronto. So they're okay. out here okay. going out there. I'm like, okay. You know, if that's, you know, if that's your thing, great. But then there's others says, you know, not even, not even my best, my favorite artist I would come see for that kind of money. I'd rather go on a vacation, they said. I'm like, wow. Even if it's the last hurrah. Yep. Even if you know, like, say, for instance, it was Michael Jackson or Bob Marley, whatever. You're telling me you'd take a trip instead of go see them? Like, if I, if, if the, if the This Is It tour came to Canada, came to Toronto, I'd find a way to get there, bro. Um, no word of a lie. Bob Marley, yes. And this is, and that's hindsight. That's like, yeah, of dead, course. Everything's right? hindsight. So yeah, everything's act, hindsight. But, uh, Bob Marley, yes. I, I, I liked Michael. Of course, I was part of that. The hoopla and yeah, the thriller of Michael, but I wasn't. That, I'm not. I'm, I'm more of a Prince guy. Yeah, we talked. We had to talk yeah, years had ago about, about who's, who's the. Who's the <laughs> but don't get me wrong. Like a good show is a good show. I just wouldn't go to those lengths to go to a Michael show, but I might pay over what, like we said in the short, more than I would normally pay. Right, because it's right, Michael. right. But if you, if I mean, okay, so if it was Prince, then. Yeah. Would you go all out to go get the best seat or the closest seat that you could to the show? Because you're a Prince man. Okay. I hate when people do this to me, but I'm going to do it to answer this question anyway. <laughs> I, if I was to put myself in the 19th, 25-year-old slang, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd probably go to the concert. But the slang of today, I think I'd rather go on the trip. Well, well, I can understand that. That's a different mentality, different different mindset. So I get it. I get it. Me, yeah, I who I haven't really gone on trips per se, don't know the feeling, which I will soon enough. But yeah, me, yeah, I'd, go to, I'd go to I'd go to a Prince concert. Or I could a Michael J Jackson concert for sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I can't. It's not stupid. That, that's the thing. I wouldn't look at it as another yeah. person doing it and say, "Ah, you're wasting your money." Yeah, exactly. Their my trip is their Prince experience, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and I un, I also understand if I went to the Prince concert, I'd be satisfied. I just if it was a choice. Okay, but the thing I'd is, try to do both. <laughs> and here's the thing, though, you can always do the trip. Like this is the last hurrah for this person. Yeah. So I'd take that up yeah. and say, yo, I'd buy a shirt, try to get it signed or whatever, take pictures and just throw it in a, in a vault and said, yep, I was there. I would agree with you, but the pandemic changed my mind on things mm. like you can always do that. Because mm. I had two years where I couldn't go on a trip. Mm. And it wasn't okay. looking good for that first year. Like it wasn't looking like we were ever going to get to go on a mm. trip ever again. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Is that yeah, it's, I guess again, they're they're on the same plane for for me. It is a, it's not. I'm not saying it's not a tough choice, but I mm -hmm. I, I lean as I'm presently sitting here. You asking me towards the trip, and that's probably also because my bias is I want to take a trip right now. Like I wish I was doing <laughs> this from a plane. So okay, um, let, let's let's segue to uh that then. Where would you want to go right now? Right now, in mm -hmm. my dream, right now would be Hawaii. Right now, because that's one of my dream destinations, and I feel that's like a, one of the tropical place, mm. Hawaii. I want to, yeah, want to go and see where Magnum PI live and all that. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, was it okay. Uh, Robin? Robin Manor? Robin? Robin? What was Robin? It was Robin, right? It was Robin? It was his bar? Robin? Yeah, it's whatever. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, so Hawaii is on the bucket list then. 
Definitely, definitely. What about you? Where would you go? And I well, I'm, 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 I'm pretty basic. If it was the prime location to to visit, I like historical spots. So a man like me, I would probably go to Egypt. See, that's also yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, that's I would like to go see because uh, I mean I heard people go there and it's it's historical, right? It's yeah. it's something yeah. that people yeah. have challenged and talked about for for sort of eons. We'll say eons because you know yeah. you don't know how long people have been talking about that. But yeah, Egypt is a spot. I know I know I'm African and whatnot, but still. I think that's a spot that uh, is is a, is on my bucket list. Right next to that, a close second is Mecca. I would like to go to Mecca. I would like to go there too. Again, now here's the thing. Yeah. Um, I look at I, I break those trips down into different kind of categories. Like that's an adventure to me. That's like an adventure trip. Whereas going to Hawaii is more of a vacation. Okay. Yeah. I say because yeah. that's more of a relaxation thing. I'm not even though I'm probably gonna explore there too. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. more about the relaxation, whereas going to a place like Egypt and Mecca, and and learn and, and just discover all that. Yeah, yeah really yeah. explore, like really explore. Yeah, places. yeah. Even I okay. feel the same way about Africa. Okay, but Africa okay. might be more of a vacation slash adventure. Uh, I hear. If if okay, if we're gonna South go, Africa, if we were gonna go on a vacation, enjoying type of trip, probably. Uh, I always told the uh, Brazil was a good place to go. Yeah, I go there. Yeah, too. Brazil. I I, I really that's a more. To different place i mean i've heard you know everybody going to the ja and cuba and mexico i'm like everybody's done it and redone it and whatever i'm like okay but but if you haven't been all exactly. of those places are great yes yes that's the thing that's all gonna be new to me so when mm-hmm. i do go yes it will be yeah. a fascinating trip for me but i want to be not told oh you should go there and you should go here you should go there i want to go to a place where say hey come back hey i went here yeah, what was different. there? And I'll tell them exactly. what that. Yeah. That's I want to give them the vibe that, hey, it's a new spot you've never been to. And there's other mm-hmm. places in the world that people would never dare to go. I think someone told me, I think it was my girl told me about the Maldives, the islands I there. I go there too. Bro, yep. I saw that place. It yep. looks like, a, it looks like, a, yep. a, a, almost like it was sought up on, on, on a piece of paper, like, like a, like a script. It, yep. it was like, it was like, oh, this look real. It, but I'd go. No, that's and what I'm just, saying. Yeah, it's, it yep, was, it's very wow. nice. Wow. Very I'm, nice. To be honest with you right now, the, the real answer, I'd go anywhere right now. Because I, again, I haven't, well, I have been vacation last year. But mm. still, that two-year hiatus, is uh, it still affects me. So it's I, still in you. Yeah. So I, I, I want to take like two, three trips this year, which I don't know if it'll happen. Two will happen. The three might be out of the scale. If if anything, I would save up for my trip to Disney World, not going to lie, or Disneyland, oh, whatever, too. Man. I, I need to buy That's I need to also do that. A place, and it's great that you said that because I don't even think of that place when I think of um, bucket list destinations, mm. but it should be there. Oh, for every a friend human. of mine went there at, like recently, mm-hmm. like actually probably last year or two years ago or something like that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he was saying like, bro, you feel like a kid again. It's like an amazing experience. You got to go. Some, and like, I didn't the, even think of it again. It makes so much sense. Yeah. It's, it's so you grew up. And the thing is, it's not just you as a kid. Your kid, if you had a kid, your kid would enjoy it too because it's, it's still better. relevant probably to them. Better. Mickey yeah, Mouse is still better. has a Mickey Mouse Club and all that stuff. He's still on TV as as that little kid yeah. to everybody else. So I'm like, man, that will bring back. Better, I'm telling you, if I, if I go, I'd probably cry if I went because that's a serious trip. It's and it's expensive. one of those ones that you always talk yeah. about. Every yeah. kid have a dream to go there at some point. I mean, right down to athletes. Where are you going after the yeah. Super Bowl? I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah, that's, that's a big thing. People in Florida just go there every other weekend and whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, people who never go, man. And again, it's yeah. not just Disneyland or Disney World, right? You still have that Epcot Center and, and Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah, man. This is a lot. So that's traveling, definitely worth it, too. That's definitely traveling worth it. is definitely something I need to do. Uh, and I, I'm kind of not jealous, but I'm I'm upset at myself because I don't do as much. So that's but that's I'm pushing kind it. Of, I was going to say, like, uh, well, not I was going to say, ah, anyway. Early, like, when we're talking about the concert versus the trip thing, there's a there's a value thing there. And before I took a trip, or took a vacation, rather, because I've been on trips. I've been to Jamaica, to families, mm-hmm, homes, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. type of stuff. But, yeah, I, you know, that's, that's, again, not a vacation to me. Right. Uh, and when I say vacation, to clarify, I mean some a place where I'm going and I'm not, it's all inclusive. I don't have to worry mm-hmm. about nothing. Right. I'm just yeah. literally there to soak up sun, bathe in seawater, and go on excursions. Yeah. Whereas a, a adventure 
can be something where I'm like going to stay with family or I'm going to no, see that's what I've done. Yeah. Or stuff like that's that. what I'm saying. I can't but it, yeah, count those. That vacation trip, when mm-hmm. you take one of those, mm-hmm. the first time I went on a cruise, when mm-hmm. you take one of those, then it's like, ah, uh, I get, get it. it. And maybe not everybody feels that way. Some people, like, you love your house, and I get it. Because after a week, I, I want to come home. I'm not one of those three weeks, two month guy. I know hell. No. Really? I think I think those those type of trips are only meant for places uh, that, A, are like in NJA or when you're going back home to Africa. That's when you take the month and yeah, six weeks and chill. I, I agree with Africa because it's so long to get there. You might as it well. Is. It is. We're talking it about. Is. I was talking about going to Thailand with somebody the other day. That, that was the sentiment too. It's like you can't go all the way over there for like a weekend. It doesn't That's make no sense. True. Go for at least two weeks. And I get. I got. I, get that. I got. I got coworkers that are going up. Like they made a group trip, a guys trip during the Thailand. I'm, really? Yeah, yeah. They're going out for like two, two, three weeks. I think. And I'm like, oh yeah. wow, because Thailand. I encourage that is shit, ish. man. I encourage that shit. And it's fun. I, I encourage that shit with both men and women. But for some reason, women on a trip together. I don't know. I don't know. I've had Same experiences as... with guys trips too, but women, you know how guy it's you know what it is. You're saying you're saying women women on the same trip? No, just when oh, so girls, all girls, girls trip. trips, it tends right. to be a lot more drama and friendships mash up and people okay, don't talk anymore. Okay, okay. I never experienced that in all of my guy trips. In fact, it, it usually makes us closer mm. in ways. I've been on okay. trips with guys I don't really know, like they're a friend of a friend and mm-hmm. now we're like friends for life type thing. You know what I mean? So, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. I encourage it. I have a question for you though. Yeah. And I'm going to try to start this podcast off somewhat mm. with this question if regularly if I can. Mm. What did you do today to make yourself better? Mm. Well, glad you asked that. Um, first, as you know, uh, I have a whole bunch of things on the go, right? Uh, from clothing lines to supplements and all this stuff. So I'm in a, in a bit of a rebranding stage. And uh, I got up and uh, yes, 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 yes. Got, got myself... Uh, a haircut just to kind of make myself look decent because I was just winter time is coming off and I'm like, yep, it's time to enjoy and actually take care of myself. So then I came yeah. back. I'm like, okay, let me plug away a, a, as, uh, 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 I guess, um, uh, sort of solidifying the logos, solidifying all the things to get them to that next stage. So that's what I was doing. I was making these deals with distributors and I was making these deals with uh, the marketers and making deals yeah. with certain things to make sure. And I got the okay of a few of them. Um, I'm waiting for some answers, but that, that, uh, sense of accomplishment happened. I, f- I felt that way because I talked to these people. I said, this is what I want to go. This is the direction I want to go. Okay, sir. No problem. We'll get it going. And you just sit back and like, ah, all right. So I'm just waiting for the fin- final product. So yeah, See. uh, getting, getting the labels done. I, I don't know if, did I, I don't know if I showed you, I did show you the label. Yeah. I showed you the, the, um, the, the um, Yes, the jars. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm That's very well, again myself and the girl and my girl. She 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 is the mastermind of the look of that new look right now. So See. yeah, so when when sleek. it came down to it, I'm like I'm looking. Yeah, it's sleek. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm-hmm. hmm, hmm. Yeah, good choice. Because then because then I look at my old like it just looks too bush, too 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 you know too manly. Muscle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I was too, asking too people, too testosterone-y. Yes, <laughs> I yes. Know what you mean. I know no, what you mean. yeah. So Which that's is what, what I understand. we would think of. So, yeah, it's just, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, like that's what you think when you're thinking like brands like Jack and whatnot. But I'm like, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Not only you men are working out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, but when yeah. men are not the only ones working out, so I had to kind yeah. of made it make it more more uh, uh, universal. And I think when my girl told me uh, the only reason she would buy certain products is the way the way it will look on their shelves or on their counters, I sat back. I'm like, really? Interesting. Hmm. I, I was I was I was intrigued. Yeah, I'm like I, mean, I put I put mine on the calendar that I have my older. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't look proper, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like it's it's supposed to be there. But then when I I kind of vision my the new label down, I'm like, yeah, man, that's it makes the, sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, it just blends into the rest of the atmosphere. So I'm like, okay, I get mm-hmm. what you're saying. So that's why the whole big change is happening. And from there, we're rebranding the the whole clothing lines or bringing new products, new looks, and so forth because. The generic uh, T-shirt is no longer, you know, around anymore. You have to have something that's eye-catching or or popping or or something that mm-hmm, catches mm-hmm. someone's attention, right? You gotta yeah, you gotta stand absolutely. out because everybody's doing it. And 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 I guess the only thing you have uh, the difference uh, is pretty much what's on it. Like this is my brother's brand. Family is key, and he's pumping a ton of these shirts out in in Toronto. And I'm like, yeah. Yo. And I'm like, okay. And he has a whole brand. I'm like, wow. I'm very proud of him. Uh, because he had 
mad people uh, endorsing his stuff right down to the mayor good old old sky old school mayor was wearing that stuff too yeah wow. he got him wow. he got him there nice. so i'm like you know what even though he's my youngest brother that's motivation for me saying so, you know what? let me just pick it up and yeah, get things going and, and do something exactly so that's why i said i need a rebranding so i'm very very happy i'm very motivated that to, yeah. as someone I, like i said is in my corner to help me with this and get yeah. things going to get to that next level so yeah. that's how okay. i was feeling what about yeah. you Sla? Yeah. i know you're at the um, studio now well yeah that so that's that that is the the very current step is coming down to the studio and i'm gonna try mm -hmm. to make some music um mm -hmm. after we mm -hmm. finish recording here and mm -hmm. uh, i went to the gym today this morning mm -hmm. um what else did I do today to make myself? I stuck to my intermittent fasting hours. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, was, Using an app for that, or you just you like it? Uh yeah, I use an app. I do use an app, uh, but I pretty much have my because I've been doing it for almost like years now, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's not really on and off now. It's kind of a thing for me. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not pretending to be super diligent in which I exactly the hours. Right. Sometimes right. I cut right. it short. Sometimes I do it longer than I do. I'm supposed mm -hmm, to go mm -hmm. do like the 60 and 8. Mm -hmm, but, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I stuck to today. Actually, a little bit over. Uh, what else can I say I did to make myself feel better? Um, I, I I vented to make myself. Vented? Yeah, I vented to a friend of mine with some okay. things that were on my mind. Mm -hmm. I got, got them off my chest, vented mm -hmm. how I felt. And um, it made me feel better about that situation entirely. So that, yeah, that's that's my list for today. Okay, so now here, this is a, here's a, I guess, an additional question. When you vented, was it just a generic vent to get it out, or was this something that was on your mind for a while? You know that you had to kind of get out, or is it or is just this venting on a on a regular basis type of thing? Like you know, this is Friday, or, or you know, this is Thursday, oh, I want to just get this. You know, no, I wish was I there was that good this? with my mental health to to be a scheduled <laughs> vent or what? I got it. In, uh, it oh, it's a yes and no because with this particular friend is one of my best friends it's mm -hmm. our conversations are kind of not even kind of they are cathartic they are th therapeutic in many mm -hmm. ways mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. bouncing um our feelings off of each other for things that were going on with our lives or even with each other right. um so it's not scheduled but it is a regular situation especially with either one of us has a issue going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like call we it's a nine it's a call Mm -hmm. um and it's it's, it's, it's a red phone I, call exactly, no doubt. Just, exactly. just pick up what's up and, and that's it and that's for me at, at this age it is i really appreciate having both men and women friends that i can count on in that mm -hmm. way i think mm -hmm. that's very important i think a lot of us especially men tend to yeah. hold this stuff in we don't yeah. tell nobody um because we're we're afraid of how it makes us look or yeah. you know ego yeah ego, yeah ego we all suffer from right yeah. so I, i'm very being having somebody having several people mm -hmm. and i'm not really that you you know this i'm not really mm -hmm. a guy that holds stuff in really like, no it no i get me, it yeah i i can do it but there's I, there's probably somebody i'm talking to about it because i'm also not a i know everything that it's right mm -hmm. guy mm -hmm. so i will question the way i feel about something mm -hmm. like maybe mm -hmm. okay maybe okay what did i do did i do that uh, okay no no you know and you, i do that back and forth conversation with myself yeah but right. then i bounce it off with somebody else so yeah mm -hmm. uh sorry that was long-winded but to answer your question no it's mm -hmm. not scheduled but it is a regular thing. i think i think uh i i at a certain age i was that i know everything type of guy I, of more so we all. more so more so more so the teens into the early t 20s and i'm like yeah i can answer every question but when you get that first hiccup and it's a consistent hiccup after hiccup I'm like yo i i really don't know what i'm doing so after that, uh, late late twenties, early thirties, and on, I started asking everybody for something I didn't know just to mm. get the answers, right? Mm. And I could have done this multiple times, but I'm going to get the 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 perspective of somebody else because maybe I'm doing something wrong, right? Yeah, when it comes yeah. to when it comes to a uh, uh, home repair, I did that once before, and I'm like, yeah, it wasn't, it didn't turn out right. So I'm like, let me ask this person who's done it, you know, thirty years of their life, so I can ask them and get it done right. Right, Makes right sense. down to cars, right down to uh, uh, my job, whatever. I ask and I ask and I ask because I'm I'm no longer the talking proud type of guy. It's just like I know everything. No, 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 because that can get you in trouble. The minute you think you know, it ends up you don't know, and then you fall Man flat on your knows face. Anything, bro. Knows he knows nothing at all. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Let, let me. Let me. Why? 
definitely have to do that. Definitely have to do that. And I, I, and I mean, uh, to play the devil's advocate, angel advice on the other side of that thing is you can't tell everybody everything. Oh, that's I mean, also true. Yeah, you cannot yeah. do that. I, I, you might get the wrong advice or or the advice from somebody who doesn't wish you good in that situation or mm. they're, whatever they're they might not even be intentionally doing that but they're going through a negative similar situation and they're mm-hmm. gonna mm-hmm. project what they're going through on you and your situation and not and not advise you about your situation advise you as if it is theirs i i can Stick definitely tell way. you i can definitely tell you there was a a, a story uh my mom would always tell me always do not put out your information because there's someone there that wishes bad on you just because they don't like you or they don't like your success. So you need to keep some in, in the vault, right? Because the minute you, minute they get wind of it, the universe is very powerful and they will, they will use that against you. And all of a sudden you'll be finding out you have bad luck, you stub your toe, you have a flat tire, whatever. These people can wish anything on you. So that's why you have to know when to kind of put it out there and know, you know, when to just keep it to yourself. Um, majority of the time I keep things to myself just because I know if you even think something, someone else is thinking that opposite and then can just use that negative energy on you and just make you feel horrible, make things happen that are horrible. Mm -hmm. And it can happen, you know, in, in, in a span of a month, it can happen in a span of a week, you know, you can't really, yeah. So you just have to kind of be aware, got to be aware of all that stuff. I I, I got a story. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I got a but mm-hmm. yeah, I remember I was going through a tough time. So, you know, I'm, I'm walking through the mall and, I'm, you know, when you're like in a haze and you're not really mm-hmm. there, but you're there. You're like in a mm-hmm. room full of people where you feel alone type mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. feeling. And I ran into like a ex of girlfriend of mine mm-hmm. and she happens to have like her education background was in, I don't want to say psychology, but it's like. It's in a ther- therapist. What does that feel? Psychiatry. Sort of psychiatry. Psychiatry. Okay. Type, okay. Type feel. So anyway, so I trusting pretty much let all my you know my thoughts in my head spill all over her type thing. Pause it. No, she's a girl. It's no pause. So I let her know mm-hmm. everything that's going on in my brain. And um, she says to me, like she she gives me some advice, like like do you ever think like you you were meant to be where you are now? And oh. Uh, she said something else like uh, basically both both the things she said to me was in a was in a negative way like yeah you're 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 you're, su- you're supposed to be here this is you're supposed to be feeling this now and, and then it's not until years later that I kind of realized that oh that was her moment like mm. to get back at me for whatever happened in our relationship was her moment mm, she took a so stab it, it was the wrong wow. person to meet at that time or she just wasn't the right messenger for that message for me. I'll even put it that way. Because maybe good message, I, maybe wrong even person. I'm a good message, wrong person. But I don't believe the message was intended to be good. I believe it was intended to be keep you down. Yeah. Wow. You should be yeah. satisfied with what you have and don't seek more type of message. Wow. Thank God I never listened. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Hi, some hater. Those, <laughs> <laughs> some of those, some of those those people you 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 could be knowing them for years and you they they'll keep on keeping you down because they'll keep on flooding you with this 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 nonsense and i'm like yo you gotta go like you, you gotta stop I they gotta might just be a negative out. personality or, or I, I shouldn't say that they might just not be the person again not the person for you to receive right message right right from. right sometimes they you might, have to... somebody else they, they're, they're they're a perfect source of mm-hmm, information mm-hmm. but not for you or not for me whoever that person is. it's and it's yeah. it's funny it's funny how the universe works as we were talking about it because i told you i'm rebranding so i started throwing out uh 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 uh, this and that about about uh, the brand and uh, looking for affiliates and so forth. And then, you know, lo and behold, I, I said, hey, you know, check this out to one of my b- old football buddies. And we started talking. I said, hey, you know, mm-hmm. I do personal training here in, in Brampton and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I know you have the podcast. I want to come do a show. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Right. Dope. Somebody I haven't talked to in so long is, you know, popping up and saying, hey, you know, I love what you're doing. Here's Let's catch up and let's whatever. I'm like, oh, wow, great. And then that settles down. Then another, my my, my boys athletic association president, who also mm. is in personal training, says, man, Tokes, I haven't heard from you in a long. Are you good? I said, yeah. That I'm really sorry that I never got back to you, but I want to do the show with you. I see they're doing all these good things. I'm like, let's catch up. And I'm like, wow. You know? And that's not nope. that's not something that I'm used to because you know people keep to themselves whatever. But when you're doing good, sometimes good people just come back and say, "Hey, and you know, alchemy, pat on the back, type of thing." 
you're chasing your dream, your dream, the, the universe will start to attract to you in ways that exactly. help you achieve. Exactly. Have you, have, you, have you watched chasing, The Secret? I have. I've read the book. And they've also read The Alchemist, which is similar in, the, in some ways. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and what do you think about all um, our uh, the laws of attraction? Mm -hmm. Um I believe, I believe if you believe it will work for you, mm. but you have to wholeheartedly believe those are, it's not any, again, not any, we've kind of discussed this on the show at length with a few times with everybody too. Like it's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a coping mechanism. It's a way for you to get through life. So if you believe that Jesus Christ is your way, he's your strength, power to you. Right. He is. If you believe that it's Allah, power to you. Because right. he is. If you believe it is going to the gym every day, it is. Mm, mm. This is what powers you. If it is your children that power you to get out of bed and do what you have mm. to do every day, hell, of course it is. Because that's you. That's what you believe in. It right. may, all of these things may one day and could be at any moment a lie. Those kids could not be your kids, even. Uh, to mm. that depth, mm -hmm, you might find mm -hmm, out that mm -hmm. one day. As soon as you, one of those things is taken away from you, if you still have the drive, that is the only time you will know it is not that thing that is driving you. It was the drive was just within. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. when you'll that's know. That's true. That's deep. But until that's that deep. day, whatever you believe, if you believe the laws of attraction is what is going to get you where you need to go, it is exactly what is going to get you where you Facts, 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 facts. That deserves it. <laughs> I'm here weekly. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's you're you're totally you're totally one hundred percent right, man. It means it's all in you. I mean, you can think that the sky is green. I think we've talked about that. It's your decision. It's your view. It's your image that makes you want to feel that, and that gets you up in the morning to 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 define the odds and why is it green. And so be it. Keep on going. No one can tell you different. Shout out my boy Rome. We we're talking about this to do to this to this today. And he gave me this this nugget. Mm -hmm. He's saying you are the main character in your movie mm. i am just a co-star in your movie just like you are just a co-star in mine facts i'm i'm also the script writer I'm, I'm damn near the producer so whatever i choose to happen in my story is up to me mm, that's, that's, and likewise that's that's and true that's, that's be the that's star true. that you are in your movie yeah and not say it any better than that you are the star of your own movie facts facts yeah. on a somber note Recently, there was a another mass shooting in the United States of America. I believe it was three adults, three children in a uh, private Catholic school, I believe. Yeah, I think it was. A uh, yeah. Um, and it was a, uh, I guess you could say a distraught woman uh, that came in and uh, opened fire and killed three kids, three adults. Now, one of them was the headmaster of the school who they claimed to be a hero trying to save the children. So she put each mm. herself in a live fire. Do that. I mean, at first, I didn't want to talk about it. I probably will do a rant about it later. But I mean, I, I didn't want to talk about it because it glorifies a sad situation. But I mean, mm. here's the thing, though. And I read and someone was giving me stats about this. And there are more mass shootings in the States, like murders and whatnot in the States. And there are people dying in certain countries in the world. That's like, I'm, I'm sorry, even, even even continents, you can say, like the way that these people are going, like it is now the end of March. And I, I've been, I was told the number is 130 mass shootings since January. I can't say I'm surprised. It's not I even about be. surprising now, but it's not even being surprised. It's like, what, what do you, what do you say? I mean, they say the U.S. is the home of the free and, and all this. And I'm like, man, you got to either you, you lock down some rules or, or, or just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm because I have children, it, it bothers me so much to talk about it because man, I'm, I'm happy that I'm in Canada for that fact, because I don't really see that happening here. The last mass shooting we had was that Valentine's day massacre, I think in Montreal. In the in the in that polytechnic, the guy who killed all those women there. I didn't yeah, want to. Even... Sounds familiar. That yeah, familiar. Which yeah. Was, what, th when was that? Like eighties? Yeah, that was Something again. Like that? That's based on what I remember. There could be some that I'm missing. I don't know, but based I mean, on mass maybe. shootings, 
I believe that's the last one we've had in Canada for for senseless violence. But that's a, that's a, it's very difficult to change the culture of a, of millions of people in one. Like it's very difficult to change that because it's entrenched. Like it's entrenched in their society. That's why they call it mm-hmm. gun culture. It's entrenched. They sought their freedom through violence, not through diplomacy, even like we did. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. still there was fights, battles up here, but it wasn't like down there. And then after getting their freedom, they have to fight each other mm-hmm. in a civil war. This country is basically built on war. And any yeah. country around the world with that same blood in their soil probably has the same problems or similar problems. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even I, I, I at this point. Yeah, I still lean to the side of no guns more than I do get gun get control. Gun control, but I still I recognize both sides of the the fight. Like I do see, mm. I do see how on one end it's like um, you'll never be able to truly have gun control because once you allow people to have guns, there's going to be people who are going to abuse that system and you're going to have illegal guns in there. But on the other like hand, in, in any world, world they'll have the people yes, use anything, any type of rules. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But on the other hand, what it, for protection from those same people. Mm-hmm. So it becomes a chicken and egg thing. Yeah. 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 At this point, it's a chicken and egg thing. Are we really uh, saying we don't want um, these women coming home late at night from their midnight job and, and they, they don't live in the greatest area or whatever, that they shouldn't be allowed to have a gun to protect them? I don't know if I should say that. Mm. I don't know. It, uh, training is key, but to yeah. say no guns. Can we, if, unless, again, you can eliminate guns completely from everyone all at once. What are the that's, and that's, and that's the thing. If they even try, you'd get pushback no matter what. Exactly. Hell of, I mean, a, a hunter who's a been culture. using a gun, a hunter who's been using his gun since he was seven years old, killing ferrets to cows to whatever, feeding his family, feeding his life. So all of a sudden you're telling me I have to give up my gun? Hell mm-hmm. no. And he'll fight to keep that gun. Of course. And you know what? I get that. I get that. But with the what the, the country is, is doing with all the losses you're not making it a, a good case for you guys and guns anymore yeah. these guys sucks. fight to keep the confederate flag flying so what, what do you think they're going to do for their arsenal yeah that's 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 very they're gonna true use it to keep it. they're going to use it's, the arsenal yeah. to keep the arsenal yeah yeah that's yeah. what's going to happen it's sad and, and again it's in their constitution so who am i it's the same way i look at them for going over to a another country and telling them how to live okay enforcing so, their american way on a different country because they think that their way is the right way i mm-hmm. I, I can't agree with i can't agree with me saying they should do that too because their country is different different do, do you think they would ever try to change the constitution or are they allowed to change the constitution it would take a, a crazy shift in some in, in population or something like like some kind of real we lost a few, like 30 million people in that country type swing mm. to make something like that happen. It, it took civil wars to make a real change before. It took civil rights movements, which is basically a different war on a different scale, mm-hmm. to change mm-hmm. things in, in that country or any country. Usually, money and violence. I say this many times. The only mm-hmm. it's either mm-hmm. money and violence. So I don't, I don't see, it. I don't, I don't see it changing anytime soon. Not the constitution, especially. It's, and that's, America's too that's proud a, of a culture. That's one of the reasons why I don't want to go there and travel because you are now bound by their rules and you're going on there. You're going there most of the times unprotected. You don't know what the next man is doing over there. You don't know who's you know driving your cab to whatever. You don't know if this person mm-hmm. does a like. There's so many precautions and 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 things that I just. I'm afraid of um, because it's just so volatile over there. It is, it is, it is well, always something this, going on. It's a great place to visit, and what you're speaking of is everywhere. It's yeah, literally everywhere. And now, is it because it's because we can see Canada. it? But you think it's because we well, can see it? Like it's been shown with the, that image. Yeah, you do get. We are overly programmed with the fear of what can happen over there especially like our tv is mo- mostly american even mm-hmm. now when we we're, we're watching netflix it's still mostly american programming yeah so yeah i i do see that but i've been to a few caribbean countries i've been to a few american states and 
I can't say either one is feels safer or less safe than the other in all instances. So again, it's everywhere. It just depends on where you go and what you do unless you're just damn unlucky. That's true. That's true. I will say this. I will say this. If you're going to a Caribbean resort and you're just going to stay on the resort, you're probably safer than going to an American city. <laughs> wow. Probably. <laughs> probably. I, I, I don't. And it depends on the city. It depends on the city, yeah. yeah, because that's the thing. Different states, different gun laws, right? Yeah, that's another. See, that's the thing. That, that's why the U.S. is so complicated for me, because you can go to this state and everything's cool and, ha- and happy and whatever. The next state right beside it could have a totally different opposite rules. And it's just a matter of just. Yeah, no, it's not like that. Though. I don't think so. I don't think it's like I don't that. know. I don't know. And you don't, I, you don't have to, again, if you're going to visit and it's not, I would never, I wouldn't tell you to let that fear prevent you from going to places or like, again, if you're going to Disneyland, nah, mm. bro. I can, you're going to be safe, but it, yes. Is it possible? Mm. Yes. Yeah. But that's possible anywhere. That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's possible. Nope, anywhere. You're right. If you you're go, right. if you go and look at a trip advisory right now of, of most, especially, 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 um, Afro Latino countries, Afro or Latino countries, mm-hmm. the advisory is not to go. It's a violent country. Stay in these really? areas. It's a violent country. Most. Mm-hmm. And I've been to most, of them, except for Brazil and not so much a lot of South American countries, but Caribbean, I've been to most. Of them. Okay. They're all the same. Okay. Okay. You're safe as long as you're safe. Especially as a traveler, you're usually safe unless you go off the beaten path. Then you might not. Right. Be safe. But right. that could be right. that could be the same right here in Toronto. Fair enough. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Brampton is totally different from Scarborough. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I get it. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess when I've taken myself out of the loop of the news, and then all of a sudden social media blows up about this killing, that killing, this yeah. person missing, that person, and I'm like, man. Where is where is it safe to go these days? It doesn't and make any that's sense. That's the thing, too. Uh, sorry to cut you off. I keep doing that. No, no. Fear is fear mongering is an industry. Oh yes. Right. Like there is money in make keeping us afraid of doing things or yes. exploring them for ourselves. So uh, many ways you got to get out and go f- and and try it for yourself. Like I think I've. I probably hasn't haven't told the story on here, but I've told this, you, you the story of my Dominican Republic experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that could have been a life threatening experience one day. Yeah, I tell it yeah. on this show, but it yeah. turned out it wasn't, and therefore it's a great experience. Story. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> right? Those are the best so, ones, I, right? Right. And I'm not even the ones trying to, can I'm live not even to tell to about courage. It. Right. I'm not trying to encourage people to put their life on the line, but yeah. the truth is some of the best times of your life are ones that you'd never thought were you would be in. And if you live right. to tell the story without any injuries, any permanent injuries, even to regret, mm-hmm. like nothing to mm-hmm. regret, but woo, <laughs> like that's the worst that ever that happened was woo, almost mm-hmm. you got to get out there. So I would, yeah. You got to go. There's, there is, if anything that these last few years have taught us, I think is that there is money in fear. Well, I think the, the, the when I learned this, uh, is that, uh, the CIA was, uh, embedded into Hollywood, making us fear things. That's how they, that's why they made the movies the way they did. Uh, Excellent. so it keeps you in line. So they'll, they'll make sure these movies are about this war or this action. And so for in that time frame in that war, cause can't you tell? Look at look at um a lot of like uh, I just recently watched the Woman King. Oh yeah, yeah I'm like I'm like I'm like wow. But it came out the same time when they were pushing the whole women's movement, right? So I'm like, huh, makes Have you sense. Seen Black Panther, and, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, same thing, same thing. Even going back when uh, we thought there was going to be a meteor hit Earth and blow it up, blah blah. blah. What ha- what came out? Armageddon and Deep Impact. I'm like, hmm. So again. And there's a lot they of foreshadowing in, in, fl- in movies, oh, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A lot oh, yes. of foreshadowing. A lot of, oh, here yes. it comes. Yeah. Here it comes, yep. buddy. I'm I'm realizing that now. You know, I'm realizing that they are putting it out there. They're giving you the blueprint. You have to now connect mm-hmm. the dots and figure it out. Because then later on, you'll see, oh, you know, I just saw this. Or I can't believe they just put this out there. 
Like, really? That, so that's why some people believe, or there's a th- working theory that some artists or creatives tap into a different dimension, mm. and that then when they get their ideas, because uh, speaking as an art, okay, and I know we're, we're going out there, right? Speaking of as an artist, there are times when you create something, and you you, you at least I have, and I know several that have. You feel like, whoa, where did that where did that come from? Like. That was in, that was, that, this is crazy, but how did I, man, or the, you know, you just pick up the pen and start writing and it just comes, flows out. Like you don't even think about right. it. It just happens. Right. Right. Some people call that natural talent. Some people call it a God given gift. I, I don't know which it's probably both in different ways, but mm-hmm. um, that's what they say. Some of our greatest artists are tapping into a different dimension or realm and picking up these images from maybe even the future, maybe even um, a different, like how they have multiverses in, mm, in mm. Marvel, a different universe mm. that is similar to ours and mirrors ours. So they say that sometimes mm. that foreshadowing is, is coming from our actual future, but being fed through the person who came up with the idea for this movie or this show or whatever, whatever. That makes That makes you a lot of what? sense. That makes that makes a lot of sense only because there was a and again it's usually these these superhero movies that kind of do this to me but I'm like when you're saying that there's a character who's in the Marvel universe Kane the Conqueror what does he do he's killing his 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 own self in multiple dimensions learning them studying them getting that power and then going to the next dimension and using that to kind of dominate and destroy universes and so forth so you're thinking well I'm thinking I should say that somebody's somebody who's who's excelling so fast, so easily, who knows who they've mm-hmm. tapped into their, their other self, their, their poor herself or whatever, and got mad, mad information or, or, or crazy tips and whatnot. You know, people even think time yeah. travel is true. People say time travel is true. I mean, it's out there that people are putting in the movie. So, I mean, somebody's yeah. bound to have done it already. So there's apparently some you know. project that they, they discovered that they're trying to create a time machine. Like the, I don't know if it's the American government or I forget which government, but they're literally trying to create one. Okay. The minute that happens, the world will be very, very different if they can do it. Well, we're not going to know for like forever, That's- for a good while when it happens. If they, if they probably point, what I'm trying to say is they, if they're even telling us that they're attempting it, they've probably mm-hmm. already gotten through. True. The question they're is, just, we would know, never know. Slow because feeding. they're not yeah they're, they're we would never know until something significant changes i mean for instance say for, and, if it we changed, but we may, still wouldn't know true what i'm saying is to say for instance i don't know they stopped the assassination of of martin luther king all of a sudden you know this man nah. is here yeah but you wouldn't know the difference because that would be, no I, yeah no, i wouldn't know the difference but i'm just saying no, no, sir, yeah what 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 do you think that would do <laughs> would that that would that change anything i mean oh yeah 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 well i mean, I mean he would it should it should have it should change things but his death should have changed a lot of things too so you know what well, I'm saying? who knows because again remember if, uh, if, the boondocks show that when they yeah he yeah when he could bring they brought him back <laughs> i'm telling you i was just thinking because if somebody goes goes back in time i know based on the whole pe- place that that time is this time is that if one of these leaders come back or somebody brought one of these leaders back man mm-hmm. it could have been jfk it could have been rfk <laughs> Hell, it, could, it, it, it could even be Malcolm Hitler, X. whatever. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can, they can do whatever, right? So I want to know. I really want to be in that world that this has happened and see how Gandhi it plays out. Those, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. some of these wars would never have been started if. I don't know. If, right? I mean, it, it, like the world moves a lot faster the older you get, but I, I don't know if we'll live to see things yeah. like that. And again, this could already be happening. We wouldn't know that. It, this this, is this true. could already be changing time or or whatever, changing situations, mm-hmm. but it's for specific people. Like it's so it's that's it's not really you know what I'm saying no. this guy, mm-hmm. it's not like bringing back to the future where it's a little nobody going back mm-hmm. in time and, and mm-hmm. he becomes the biggest thing in the world. It's mm-hmm. somebody who probably has that power already, and they're gonna change a little thing to give them a little more power that's true that's true you're right you're right you're right the people who already have that issue i have that power will definitely do that and make and advance themselves a bit more and it could be every year it could be every month could be every 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 hour who knows that's something crazy example i get it crazy example Mm -hmm. (laughs) they plot the they plot a pandemic make it happen it's not going the way that they planned 
they they in their timeline the people revolt in the real timeline the people revolt and destroy them and kill them all all the mm -hmm, powers mm -hmm. that be mm -hmm. they go back in time and say okay we're gonna cut this back a couple of years <laughs> short because <laughs> uh, it ain't working it ain't working it ain't working <laughs> we gotta make sure redo redo we yeah, press yeah. the redo button yeah. hold on vaccine now vaccine yep, get it out yep. there quick Tell them there's a vaccine. Yeah. Quick. What you what you say? Ten years from no, no, no. Nope, Bring it back. No, nope. now, now, now. <laughs> we ain't gonna make it, Johnny. We ain't gonna make it. Oh, no, it's so true, yeah. so true. Yeah. And, it's, and, like and it's, it's 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 totally true, totally true that that could happen. You know, I found out again. This is scary, but true. I do a lot of three D printing, um, and I realized that that uh, they are now three D printing food, and they have three D printed steaks. Is it terrible? That is, I'm not like why? What's scary to me is Tokes is I am not surprised. Why is this? I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I can, I can look at it in two ways. One, an amazing, uh, uh, a scientific boost into not killing animals and 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 saving the the population or whatever. At the same time, you're eating stuff that is man made like chemically induced and you don't know how it's going to be in your system how it's going to affect you when you've digested when you crap it out whatever you don't know exactly. the lasting effects on these things so i'm exactly. like man it's just it's just weird to to, to deal with because i'm like man i love to hear that but i'm like man how far are they going to go soon they're going to start 3d printing body parts and stuff just connecting it to mm -hmm. your arm yo you lost your arm here Take an appointment. You're gonna sit there for nine hours, and then we're gonna connect this to you to your arm, and you'll be back as new. Man, that's 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 what yeah, we're well going that, right that's now. what is. Uh, who's I watching? I, I and mean, we even talk, maybe it's what's that? But were, blah, 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 blah. I'm tongue tied today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I was trying to say <laughs> the next evo step in evolution for man is cybernetics. Terminator. Where else are we gonna go? Yeah, it is yeah. cyber. I don't know if you watch uh, Mandalorian. Yes, I do actually. I'm actually going to do this. And the season. sun shines back. <laughs> this girl's dry, drawing pictures. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, you've seen when they had that uh, cybernetics on some of the humans or whatever. Mm -hmm, they are mm -hmm, on the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, where, where else are we going to go? Is in terms of enhancing ourselves, where we are already at the PED stage, the uh, hormones, you know, we're, we're doing the best with our genetic tissue. Mm -hmm. right now and i'm sure we can do better i'm sure it's going to get even better i'm sure yeah. the super soldier serum is right around the corner oh, but i'm telling you someone has already thought about it that's why it's in the course, movies right now so someone says yo let's do this and there's a guy who's in freaking Trying it poland out. there's a guy in poland <laughs> that's chopping trees with his hand yo this is the best thing that's happened in my life yo margaret <laughs> It's chopping three. <laughs> he's living. He's 125. Just going <laughs> off with his hands. <laughs> they just they go back and give him a call. Hey, 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 Randolph, you all right? Man, I've never feel better. I've never I felt better. It. And then he drops Thank out, you, Mr. Bush. And then he dies right after he says that. Blood starts coming from his nose. Uh, yeah, and he collapses man. from a hernia, from like, uh, aneurysm, rather. Yep. yep. Whoops. We've got to start yeah. over. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Read oh, the I next guess test subject. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, patient patient 0. <laughs> 0.1. Yep. Oh, Disease. <laughs> oh. So that's how it is, so, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. It's so real. Yeah. So after all of that, after we get that, then it is. And that's not far fetched because we have Paralympic uh, athletes running yeah. on blades and. Mm -hmm, holding mm -hmm. hands with certain types of arm that's so all it leaves is nerve connection to the electronics actual, or however yeah, you are yeah, man like cash yeah. would know that much better than me I am, or maybe even Bo, I'm up on those things now, now I, I do i do see what was it what was that uh that commercial with that robot that cuts her the elbow i think it was for the war arms on star i don't i could put my arm back on you can so play safe you remember that commercial you're an idiot <laughs> I'm just saying. You know the party to catch you every time. She put it on and then do the the hand. Yeah, yeah. I can put mine back on. You can. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, you never Very know. Idiot. 
Well, you never know because again, they have people who are in the 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 war amps or whatever, and you have the limbs. And I always wonder how they're making the limbs move, but it's connected and it's connected yeah, neurologically yeah, yeah, to the them. Muscle. It's the muscle, right? Too. The muscle still there, especially those ones. The muscle flexing still, mm-hmm. but it mm-hmm. was a limited thing. Like they basically could only do something like this, right? Whatever, yes, right? yes. You can't really you know, right. grab something like, but yeah. you have a little. You have enough right. to do something like this. I'm like, okay, but now so I'm I like, think you know they what? have ones where you can move your grab. fingers and again, some of them now people are freaking putting chips in themselves. So who knows? That chip can control that arm. So it's just neurologically just being told yeah. to do it. So you. have all it's, these kids that are learning coding at these ages of five and six mm-hmm. and stuff like that now, mm-hmm, what do you mm-hmm. think the world is going to be in 20 years when we're too old to even say anything? About I'm thinking iRobot right there, bro. Si- that, at least it should be. But again, because again, we thought we'd be in flying cars by now, like before now, by the year 2000, 20 years ago. What, we thought we'd be in what do you mean? Cars. But well, we do have flying cars. Well, I want to say no, not flying cars. I mean, we have, on a, we have, we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. In the, yeah. in the, in the air highway, yes. But yeah, we have cars yeah. that drive themselves now. We Think do. about that. We like, that's, but we should have had that 20 years ago. <laughs> like, that's that's nothing. That's, A car that drives true. itself should be re- is literally nothing on the grand that's scheme true. of how our technology has, has catapulted Advanced. forward from that point to yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, they, they got it. They got it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm running out of power here. What the hell? I didn't bring a wow. chair. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we better got this call. Got this call quick. <laughs> it's because he has to still work. And no <laughs> juice. <laughs> Gotta keep yourself know, always, know, always, always have. Always have your charger, brother. Always. I have, I have a charger everywhere. Even even the even the 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 power bar that I have has a USB jack in it. So I have to have yeah, the cord that. in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even I have the that. But I didn't bring there you the go. charger charger. You didn't bring the cord. Wow, this no, man. So. Bruh. Come on. No, loser <laughs> like me. Wow. Loser. But I mean, Honest. it's been an hour. We've been talking it's true. conspiracies and flow for an hour. We didn't touch not one of the subjects that we talked about. <laughs> That's usually how it is, man. Nice. That's usually how it is. Hey. If you can talk, you can just talk, but I have no problem yeah, just man. talking sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes barbershop good. talk sometimes is, is good, good enough, man. Be structured. Sometimes I, it's good I, to be freestyle. You got to be able to do both. I, I, I miss the barbershop talks, you know? Going to the barb and just, just chatting up whatever. You'll have a TV screen and something comes up and then everybody starts talking about you it. Or talk. there's a game on. Yeah. Just talk yeah. about it. Most of the time, I go to this African barber. His name is Smitty back in the day. And you have mm-hmm. CNN because Africans love watching Is that on Eglinton? I don't know why. No, no, no. This is this is this is up here. The guy on Eglinton, oh, I know. Okay. I know the guy on Eglinton. I know he's. Yeah. It, it was where um the Kitty Caravan used to be. I know that barber for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I know that guy. But it's the same thing. He would have the yeah. TV up, have CNN, and anything that's up and running, he'll just turn to the people and say, "What do you think about this?" And then the whole place starts talking. It starts yep. talking. So, and then you have the good bag of madness begins. Yep, yep. And sometimes Let the madness begin. Sometimes you get the <laughs> argument, and that's it. Oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Only to come back the next day. Hey, Smitty. Yeah, and everything my, is just fine. My brother. <laughs> That's how it is, man. It's yeah, just it talk. Is. It's yeah, just it talk. Just talk. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, man. That's it. Yeah, All right. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. coming at you guys again. Again, the show's mm-hmm. popping off. We're, we're getting a lot of content out there. So thank you, everybody, who's, uh, who's watching who's uh, mm-hmm. uh, commenting and who's sharing us. We appreciate mm-hmm. it. We're trying to get all these guys on. Uh, again, schedules are tough. Everybody Always. lives their life and doing their thing, yeah. but we definitely yeah. will catch up with everyone soon. Paul time. runs his own business. He has a family. Cash yeah. has a family. Yeah. He works. Yeah. The it's, long he works hours. Midnights. Yeah. Late nights. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. tough. those guys are going to get their content in. Look out for Cash. Yeah. He has a solo project that he's working on as well. Yep. He has a couple yep. of projects yep. he's working on. So look out for those. Yep. Look out for Poe's yep. uh, Hoopla. Is it Hoopla? Yeah. El Hoopo. El Hoopo. El Hoopo. I'm, I'm El Hoopo. El, yes. Hoopo. El Hoopo. He's out he there doing his podcast for the Raptors. Yep. Uh, yep. I love it. Check I love it. Out. Again, that's what Gold we keep on moving. Of course, go there. Go there. Music.com. You. Hang. Slang. You beats. Unleash. You got Unleash the Beast. Beast. What is it again, Tunks? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got something. Everybody got something. And that's the thing. Support something. Everybody has to have something. Yes. Oh, you know what I didn't do before? I got to do this. Shout out my bro. 
Finn and my bro Kirk Diamond for getting that Juno for best rating. Hey, recording hey, 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 hey. That's we true. We gotta get him true. on the That's show true. and yeah. pop bottles with him and all of that. But yeah. That's true, man. Like Finn has to be on here still. Yeah. Anyways, that's, that's it. That's all. We're out of here. We got things to do, people to see, and we'll do it again soon. Peace. Peace.